Uh, this comes from Deadline. Um, uh, some people may or may not be aware of, but Kevin Smith is working on a sort of uh, animated uh, He-Man Master Universe uh, show for Netflix. Um, it is going to be, uh, it's called Revela uh, Revelation. And I think it's somehow supposed to tie into the original one, the original filmation one. I'm, I, I'm not quite clear on that yet. Um, I haven't been following it too closely, um, but they did actually announce the voice cast. So this is, again, this is a brand new, uh, uh, Kevin Smith is uh, serving as executive producer. He's probably obviously writing on it as well, probably directing several episodes. Masters Universe, uh, Revelation, Netflix, uh, anime series, or actually animated series. And they've announced the, uh, some of the cast. As you can see here, Mark Hamill, uh, Lena Hetty, Chris Wood, Sarah Michelle Geller, and among others. We're going to scroll down and see if we can find. This is the full list. I'm going to run. I'm going to run through this list pretty quick because those of either uh, genre fans are going to find this interesting. So Mark Hamill is going to be Skeletor, everybody. If you haven't wow. heard that yet, yeah, I didn't know Mark that. Hamill's gonna, I did not yeah, know that. That's that's cool. Uh, Lena, uh, Lena Hetty, uh, which they say Game of Thrones, I primarily think of her from 300. Of course, she was also in the Sarah Connor uh, Chronicles uh, as Sarah Connor. It's going to be uh, Eva Lynn, Chris. Oh, Wood really? Gonna, yep. That's going to be just like Cersei from from, uh, yeah. from Game of Thrones. Very similar characters in a lot of ways, and attitude and all that stuff. Chris Wood will be uh, so playing a uh, business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Chris Wood will be uh, Prince Adam, uh, He Man. Sarah Michelle Geller is going to be Tila. Really? Liam Cunning yeah. Liam Sarah Michelle Cunningham. Geller. Liam Cunningham is going to do Man at Arms. Uh, Stephen Root is going to be Cringer. Um, one of my favorite voice actors, uh, Diedrich Bader. Some people may know Diedrich Bader was actually uh, Batman. Um, and one of the, the later animated shows, which I quite enjoyed, uh, Brave and the Bold. I have an interesting story about Diedrich Bader, but I don't want to take up too much time with that. But um, Diedrich Bader is going to be King Randor and Trapjaw. Uh, Griffith Newman is going to be Orko. Tiffany Smith is going to be Andra. Henry Rollins, of all people, is going to be Triclops. Oh, wow. Um, Alan Oppenheimer, the original Skeletor, um, is going to be Moss Man. Susan Eisenberg, oh. um, who is the voice of Wonder Woman uh, on the Justice League, is going to be the Sorceress. Alicia Silverstone is going to be Queen Marlena. Justin wow, Long Alicia is... Silverstone's back? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Justin Long will be Roboto. Jason Muse will be Stinkor. <laughs> Phil... <laughs> Phil Lamar will be Hero, which... Those of you who are really familiar with Masters, you, you know who that is. Uh, Tony Todd, Candyman himself, um, is going to be Scareglow. Uh, Cree Summer is going to be uh, playing the Priestess. Kevin Michael Richardson, uh, for the purposes of this show, who's actually one of the voice actors who did The Joker, um, is going to be Beastman. And one of the big ones, Kevin Conroy. That's right. Batman from Batman the Animated Series is going to be Merman. So that'll wow. be interesting. So, Merman fans, you you leveled up. You you got Kevin Conroy, um, and uh, and Harley Quinn Smith, which is Kevin Smith's daughter, will actually be playing uh, Eilina. So wow. there is your your main cast for He Man Revelation. I feel like the voice cast in itself is a revelation. I'm very excited for this. Um, yeah. I am a Kevin Smith fan, um, and uh, the I don't know if they have the art here in the Deadline article, but I saw it kind of bouncing about. I don't see it. The preview art they uh, released for it is is pretty striking, so um, and and really beautiful. Um, it's just a shot of uh, Castle Gray uh, Castle Grayskull, uh, but it's it's really well done. Uh, so I'm very excited for this. So tell me, Eric, uh, how do you feel about this uh, Masters Universe show coming to Netflix? Wow, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I didn't know a lot about it. Um, I think the only coverage I watched was some uh, Midnight's Edge. Uh, video a while back where they were talking about some of the, you know, some of the issues bringing this, uh, bringing this, uh, you know, bringing the show on the air in the first place. Cause uh, I believe Sony owns the rights right now. And uh, there's been some, some backstage kind of 
antics. So uh, this cast is it blows me away. This is a combination of some of the greatest from film, uh, TV, and voice actors. You know what I mean? And I, I yeah. love that. That's that's amazing that that they got a this this quality of a cast and and such a a, a you know because these again these are people that are kind of known for different things. You know, and you it, you got some of the greatest from film, TV, and and voice acting. I, I I really I dig it. I really dig it. It's exciting. Yeah, I, I I'm very impressed. I, I wasn't expecting it to the cast to be. Um, th th this is just an all star assemblage of talent. It really yeah. is. I'm very very excited. Um, so tell us, uh, Doctor Strange, um, are you familiar with Masters of the Universe at all? Not particularly, but I have heard rumors. Rumors, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've uh, heard rumors of the so-called He-Man from a crossover of sorts. So my kind of alternate universe. However, hearing upon the cast, I definitely can't show this in Arkham because some might have flashbacks of Batman or Joker. <laughs> uh, that, may, that makes sense. That makes sense. Very cool. Yeah. 